In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create dormers in Autodesk Revit. I already have a building started here, and it's also important to note that I also already have a specific level to draw my dormers on. This dormer level that is two feet above the main roof level. I'm going to activate that dormer level, and I will start by drawing in the walls of my dormer. I'll choose my wall tool. And for the type, I'll set this to exterior wood siding on wood stud. I'll make sure that it's on the dormer level with no base offset. And we'll start with a height of 10 feet, although that will get trimmed down when we attach it to the dormer roof. I'm going to just arbitrarily draw in my three walls here. And I want to make sure that they're flipped the correct direction with the siding to the outside. Next, I'm going to align this wall with the lower wall. So I'll switch to the Modified tab, select Align, select the outer face of the lower wall and the outer face of the dormer wall. Of course, I could lock this together if I choose. I'm going to add in some aligned dimensions to help locate this dormer. So I'll add in some horizontal ones here first. Then I will select the left wall here, and it should be 9 feet away from the edge of the building. Then I'll select the right wall of the dormer, and this dormer is going to be 7 feet wide. Next, I'm going to add in some aligned dimensions for the lengths of these walls. Then I'll select this wall, and I will adjust that value to be 9 feet. And I'll do the same with the opposite side. So there we can see our final dimensions for locating the dormer walls. I'll go ahead and switch to 3D so we can see how that looks so far. Next we'll add the roof to the dormer. So I'll switch back to the dormer level. Choose my roof tool from the architecture tab. Then I will set this to the wood rafter 10 inch asphalt shingle. I'm going to use a two foot overhang to match the main roof. The roof is going to be on the dormer level, but you'll remember that that's actually the lower part of these walls. So I actually want to come up five feet from there. So for the base offset value, we're going to set that to five feet. We're also going to make sure that the cutoff level is set to none. Next, using the pick walls tool, I'm going to pick the three walls of the dormer. Then I'm going to manually draw in the top line. So I'll choose the line tool, and I'm just going to arbitrarily draw this in because eventually we're going to attach this roof to the main roof anyways. So here on the Modify tab, I'll select Trim, then trim these corners to make a closed shape. This is going to be a gable end, so I need to select the upper and lower lines and turn off the option to define slope. I'll select finish, then attach to attach these walls to the dormer roof. I'll switch to the 3D tab and take a look at how this roof is looking. You can see that the walls partially attach to the roof. I just need to extend this roof to meet the main roof. So on the modify tab, I'm going to select join unjoin roof. I'm going to select the back edge of the dormer roof then I will select either the face or the edge of the main roof here. As you can see, that's now extended in to meet the main roof. I can rotate around and I can see that those corners look pretty good under there, but you can see that I have some openness here. So I'm going to highlight one of these walls and press tab to, to highlight all three, then click to select them. Then on my ribbon, I will select attach top base, and I want to make sure that in my options bar, I select base, then select the main roof. Now I've attached those walls to the main roof. Next, I'll add a window in. So I'll switch back to the dormer level, choose my window tool from the architecture tab, go with a 36 by 48 double hung. I'm going to adjust the sill height to three inches. Then I will click to place this centered inside the dormer. Of course, I want to make sure that the window is flipped the correct way. Now I can see this in 3D. 
And it looks nice, but obviously you can see that the inside is just the roof. So I next need to cut an opening for this roof. So I'm going to switch to the Architecture tab and select Dormer Opening. I need to select the roof that I actually want to cut, which is going to be this larger roof. And now I need to draw in my edges of the cutout. Right now it's kind of difficult to do because I'm in shaded mode, so I'm going to switch this to wireframe. This will allow me to pick all the inside lines. So I want to pick the inside of each roof, then the inside of each of the three walls. So there's the side one, the other side, and then the front wall. Now I just need to use my trim tool to create a closed shape. So I'll trim each corner. Then I can finish. I'll switch back to shaded mode. And now you can see as I rotate around and even from underneath that I now have the opening cut for my dormer. Of course I can repeat this process to create another dormer here on the east side of the building as well. That concludes this look at creating dormers in Autodesk Revit.